insanity. <laughs> all right, new project. EV go-kart, we've removed all of the two-stroke shifter parts off of it, and now we're converting it over to electric. So this is the full kit to set it up. Motor and controller from Electro & Co. Chai battery, it's a 72 volt setup. And then just for safety's sake, we're adding in a Flaming River disconnect switch. So we're gonna get to work on this. Just trying to get everything fitted. We've got the battery tray set up for it right here. That's still drying, Ricky welded it up earlier. And then we're gonna drop the battery here, motor, everything on. The goal is 120 miles an hour. This is the same sprocket that was on the five speed for the 99 CR 125. That was doing maybe 74 miles an hour, top speed, top of fifth. So we'll see what speed this is limited to with the electric motor. Uh, hopefully we'll be finding out what that is shortly. First test, we wired everything in quickly just to do a quick rotation test of the motor. Make sure that it gets mounted in the right orientation. All right. Oh, she's alive. Go very easy. So we're going left. So we need to spin everything backwards. Good. Good? No, we're good. All right. Forward, we're even already seeing mile an hour on the gauge and everything. All right. Let's put it all together. A slight miscalculation the mount that was built for the motor was a little bit too tight but no worries so we cut it in half we're gonna bolt it onto the motor and then weld it back together <laughs> all right we're live Give it a little whack there on the throttle, see what it does. All right, all right. All right, all wrapped up, everything's secured. Blood the brakes, have a leak in this caliper. You know, this thing's been sitting for about five years, so the O-ring's probably shot. But we do have back brakes, so adjusted the ballast fully to the back. Just gonna go take it for a shakedown run and see how, how the power delivery is. Hi, right, moment of truth, huh? Hmm? Moment of truth, see how this thing runs? Yeah, it'll go real easy. Oh wait, do I have shit go, in the seat? Go real slow. Yeah, I'm gonna try this thing out. And my headlight's pretty bright. Try not to step on anything and get electrocuted here. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in this seat. Alright, let's put the power. The power is just insane. Oh my god. Alright, let's 
see what it does from a dig. So gear, gear two, I'm just gonna whack it. Wow, wow, it hooks. It dead hooks. Dead hooks, bro. Zero. All right, I guess we, I guess we're gonna turn up the power. So torn. All right, we're going to dead stop. Just making sure that one's hot. That is insanity. That is absolute insanity. Dude, this, do you want to try this? It's wild. Taking it for a rip. This thing is unreal. Oh my God. No, just absolutely nothing but smiles right now. This thing is unbelievable. Just launch it. Just dead stop and launch it. So we just took this thing out for the shakedown test and it's absolutely unreal. The torque delivery on it, the way it hooks, everything, the torque is just unlimited. You can pretty much just rip donuts with this as much as you want. The craziest thing is the fact that we started putting this together at 7.30 at night and it's 11.06 and we're already out driving it. You don't do that with gasoline powered go-karts, cars, whatever. I mean, I'm not all in on EV, but as far as toys like this, this is just absolutely unreal. So next test is gonna be bringing it somewhere that has a, a longer, smooth road so we can do a top speed test with it, but um, address the brakes, and then I definitely wanna take this out and see what it's gonna do uh, for a full, full top speed test. But till then, stay tuned.